Welcome to our step-by-step -step guide on building your very own RC car using Arduino Uno, a joystick module, an RF2 L01 wireless communication module, and L298 motor driver. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the process of assembling the hardware, writing the code, and wirelessly controlling your RC car with the joystick. Let's begin with assembling the physical components of the RC car. Connect the motors to the motor driver, ensuring proper polarity and connections. Mount the wheels on the motor shaft and secure them to the chases. Make sure everything is properly connected and secure. For the remote, connect the NRF module and analog joystick to the Arduino Uno board as per the circuit diagram. Now, let's see the working. The transmitter is built upon using the Arduino Uno joystick and NRF module. It acts as the control center for the RC car. Here is how it works. The joystick module provides the two analog output for the x-axis and y-axis moment of the joystick. The Arduino Uno reads the analog values from the joystick module using the analog input pins. The joystick movements are mapped to the desired range to control the motor speed and steering of the RC car. Whereas the receiver, that is RC car, is built upon using the Arduino Uno, NRF module, L298 motor driver and DC motor. It receives the control signal from the transmitter and controls the motor accordingly. Here's it how it works. The NRF module on the receiver side established communication with the transmitter using the same pipe address. The receiver Arduino Uno then reads the control packet from the transmitter using the module and the received packet is then decoded to extract the motor speed and steering values. The motor speed is then determined to forward or backward direction of the car and the steering value determines left or right direction of the car. The Arduino Uno controls the motors by sending the proper signals to the Allen motor driver which in turn controls the speed and direction of the DC motors. By wirelessly transmitting the control signals from the transmitter to receiver, the RC car can be operated remotely. As the user moves the joystick on the transmitter, the corresponding movements are translated into motor speed and steering commands, allowing precise control of the RC car's motion. Let's write the code for transmitter and receiver on Arduino IDE. Now, it's time to see our RC car in action. Power both UNO boards, ensure they are connected to their respective NRF modules. Place the RC car on flat surface with enough space for maneuvering. Hold the joystick controller and move it in different directions. 